Welcome back to another video with Real Life with Michelle in Quarantine. Today we are going to be uh, painting some eggs since the little kids can't do Easter egg hunts. We are going to be painting eggs and we're going to be putting them on our windows so people can look for them so the kids can still have fun. Hi everybody! As Alex said, it's day 5,382 of quarantine and homeschool. I've been homeschooling. So today's art class. We're doing art class. Yesterday was Shave the Dog Day. It was like barber class, I guess. Today is art class. And we're trying here to get a good egg shape. So we're both going to try to make an egg and then see whose is the best and then trace that one. Okay, well, I think if you round the bottoms of that, it would be good. No, because the egg sits on the ground. No, you have to round. That doesn't look like an egg. It looks yes, like it a, does. That looks like a, a rocket ship. <laughs> oh, All right, so his head. weird egg shape, I understand. See, he's going to sit it like on the windowsill, and it does actually work. We, we looked. But I'm going to make a rounder egg. Yeah, it's We're going to hand egg. these out like to my parents that my mom's going crazy in um, quarantine because my mom can't go anywhere either. And my mom's like a gypsy nomad that likes to go places and she can't do that right now. Well, I'm going to start painting my egg. Okay. Paint markers, right? Yeah, we have paint markers instead of like paint. I got these for my little little grandkids that I haven't seen in forever because of quarantine. quarantine. What? My face and my eyeballs are like super swollen. So you're putting a bag of ice on them? Yeah, that might work. You look beautiful I like don't. that. Why well, think you look amazing like that? It's amazing. all right. I'm back. Let me see. I put ice on my face. It's, I'm so swollen today. It's ridiculous. Now, where was I? We would be washing Macy today, but she doesn't feel good. Like no, that, that can't happen today. Auntie's like... So, next time... I guess time. that would be the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to get them back, like, next week, because their mom's going to be working next week, too. So... And don't get mad because we haven't been filming that much. We're sorry. We're in quarantine. She can only film when we're here. Because the little kids aren't allowed here. Nobody's allowed here. Except me. And, so, and my sister. So, you're going to get a lot more of me. I don't even see what Which I... Do you think you're happy about? True. Yeah, I got City Boy here helping me out. My name is Alex, not City yeah, Boy. His name is actually Alex. No, We're it's gonna... not. My name is actually Gordon Clancy. Oh, oh, well, today's Gordon Eggsy. If you no. watch the planting video, he named himself Gordon Plants. No, today I'm Bob Ross. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Today he's Bob Ross. There. Just a little fixin'. It looks like a circle. So I need to trim it down a little bit. Let's see. But I think this would be a little bit, a lot of, a little bit, a lot of fun for these kids to do. The parents are just going to drive them around and... Okay, I've got a circle still. Let's see if I can't. Now my niece in there, she's doing her homework. She's a very good artist. So after she's done, we'll get her in on it. My egg's just getting smaller and rounder. I'm gonna start over, maybe. Yeah, because I'm Bob Ross and my art's amazing and yours isn't. But right now it's not. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> this looks like I can make a face out of this. All right, we're going to just start over. For the second time? Starting over on the egg. That one was bad. Attempt two? Attempt number two on this egg. This is not easy. If you're not an artist. Well, I'm not an artist. Okay, well. Well, actually, yes, I am. I'm both. You, else. listen, your egg has a flat bottom, uh, too. I'm not doing a flat bottom egg. Let me, you know what, let me see yours for a minute. No, never mind. I'll draw my own. I'm gonna take Bob Ross's art. Copy. Maybe instead of folding. That's the paper copywriting. Right now. You're not allowed to do that on YouTube. 
literally it's copywriting. You're writing down my, you're copying my thing, and you're writing it down. Hold on, I'm getting it. What, what did you just, just, yeah, that, that might fall out. Oh. That looks like a lopsided egg. I mean, it looks like an egg. Kind of. Yeah, so maybe I'll just do this. Okay. This side looks more like an egg, so we'll... I wish... I need to make it bigger, though. Let's try to make it bigger. Doesn't my egg look amazing? Yeah, it does look pretty good. He's got... Let me show you. He's got this going on. I can kind of see it. See? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm still on draw egg mode. She's on step I'm one. I'm getting there. I'm on step one, yeah. This is now my egg. It looks okay. What are you doing? Okay. My egg looks better than yours. Well, you have, don't even have an egg yet. The, the, uh, the leg of the table fell. It's okay. Well, you know what? That, this is on a to-do project. This is a to-do project. We're sitting at the breakfast bar, and you can't lean on it. I mean, it's got braces underneath of it, but we bought this leg that still needs painted and, like, actually put in here correctly because it always gets knocked out. Always. Uh, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Let's see, we're going with this line. I'm just going to go with whatever shape I get here. Too, you know, too bad it's not Valentine's Day. I could make a heart. Oh, yes, there's your egg. Beautiful. There's the egg. So I'm going to use this as a template. This is going to be a template. And also an egg. So here's what I'm going to do. We, I have this big thing of construction paper here that already has, like, decorated colors. So I'm going to cheat and make my egg on some of those. See? I'm going to start with that. And stick around because next week we'll be doing a video on washing the dog. Probably not a how-to video, but more of a <laughs> it's a hot mess video washing the dog. More of, this is for your entertainment. Yeah. More that way. They're also, right now, um, some people are putting teddy bears in the windows so the kids can go on bear hunts. And I, I think that's really cute, too. But the Easter now, we're going to switch to um, Easter eggs. That is really cute. So we're going to pass out Easter eggs. Watch this. I'm going to make a lot at one time. Cut all these babies at one time. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Show them your egg so far. Oh yeah, this is my egg. It looks, Isn't that cute? Looks really cool. I think it's cute. And then I got mine cut out, so I've got a couple few different pattern eggs. There's this one. And this one, and that one. That is cool. So we've got a couple few of those. We should pass these out to the neighbors with a a note that says what put to do with them. And put those these on your windows. That's what we should do. I'm going to do a pink one. When I'm done, you won't even know what color my egg is. No. Unless you nope. look on the back. Yeah. My I mean, dog's out entertaining all of us. Listen, my dog went out with us because we, we have Pop in the garage and stuff. So Alex and I went out to get Pop and the dog came out with us. My yard is nothing but mud. And so you, I'm sure yours is too. My dog is a muddy mess, ran in the house. Unless you're from Australia, then I guess... You have snow in your yard, right? I don't know. No. I don't know the weather. It would be fall. You wouldn't have any leaves. 
I know there for a while Australia wasn't getting any rain. Yeah, because the whole entire country's on fire. Yeah. Okay, let's use these scissors. I think this is a brilliant idea for the kids. I, I really do. Because you know how much kids and parents look forward to the Easter egg hunts and parents look forward to it? Well, yeah, because like if it's their child's first Easter egg hunt. Yeah, well, if that's it's their first. Yeah. So the parents, you know, look forward to taking their kids. And I know my youngest daughter, my youngest daughter's going to have a baby. And they're going to find out what the gender is soon. They're not going to be able to have a gender reveal party. So that's like, bum. That's my daughter's kind of disappointed about that. So I told her, I said, listen, it's okay. You can find out if you, you know, you and your husband find out what the baby sex is. And you don't have to tell us until we're out of quarantine. So you can have your gender reveal party. We will wait for that. I actually have an idea for the gender reveal thing. What's your idea? Do it Maybe. virtually because everyone's doing it virtually now. We thought about Maybe. doing that. We thought Maybe. about you know just a couple of us Maybe going over there and other. filming it for everybody, but I have to like come over to here and be seen by the camera. Yep. I know people. <laughs> She's doing her homework. It's a, it's and we're doing eggs. Okay, this doesn't have. Right, well, oh, that was your foot. I thought that was the, the dog. Homework. I thought that was the dog yeah. sniffing my leg. Oh, really? But it was your foot. Oh, oh, yeah, my foot's gone there. Yeah, so is mine. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to just... Let's see. I have the New York governor on TV now. I don't know if you watch the New York governor, but he is... He's... I like him. He is, like, to the point in telling people... I don't, I don't know how much else I could tell you to stay in. Nobody's listening to me. He's getting... He gets upset with them and kind of lectures his people like they're his own little kids I mean I'd be the same way like uh, why am I here I've told you the exact same thing what over to do and over. over and over and over again it's your fault if you don't want to listen you know and people are the people are they're getting really sick in New York sorry for all you viewers that are in New York I know that's listen sad. to your governor stay in I know you hate it, but... I mean, unless you're a thing. kid. Kids love staying in. You don't have any school. Kind of. I'm done with my egg. Are you? That is really cool. This is what the egg looks like. Good job. It goes blue, purple, red, green, cool design, green, red, purple, blue. Good job. Good job. Well, I have just stripes on mine so far. I drew stripes. That yeah, I don't know. Can you see it? My yeah, eggs better. See. Vote down. No, at the end, um, comment down below which egg is your favorite. Okay. Is it this one? Or this that one? That one. This one? It's mine. That one. We got, I, oh, is that the same one? Yeah. That one. Okay. Mine's the best. Vote for Alex because he'll like Mine it. Mine is the best. Vote for the boy. I'm on my own. He left me. I guess we're only going to get one egg out of him. Here he comes. In my defense, at the very beginning, I said, my sister's going to be making the egg for our house. But she didn't listen, so... Oh, well, listen. I'll see you next video. His sister has so much homework, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely She's ridiculous. a high schooler. What do you expect? She's a senior this year. And it's just ridiculous how much homework this girl has. I hope you enjoyed our egg video. It's a fun idea for kids to do in your town. If you have little kids and want to start doing something like this. I know you're really crooked right now. Sorry. You're on my tripod and sitting this way. But anyway, if you have kids or a neighborhood, this is a fun idea to do for Easter. Pass it along. Hello. All right, now I have my niece helping me. This is Bethany. As and my brother said, um, I'm doing the egg for our house, and I kind of got a quick start on it. And I'm still working on mine. And Alex's egg, he left us. He's not going to. And they're eating lunch. It's lunchtime. 
So. Yeah, mine's still hot, so um, I'm She's doing wait. a pizza. A hot pocket pizza. Pizza pocket. Pizza pocket. And pizza... Door chips. Chips. Uh, Might as well just have pizza, right? Yeah. <laughs> pizza Pringles. You know, why not? So I've got green... What color am I missing? Do I have them all? Yeah. Maybe I'll all. start with a green again and keep going. She's making... Oh, I found some markers, but my grandkids have been in this bag, and if you see the bag of markers, there's no caps on these markers. So I'm pretty sure they're probably dried up. Let's see. Yep, that one is. I should probably police the markers a little bit better, you know, but sometimes we have chaos and it's hard to police anything so the meaning of kids is chaos <laughs> right even though i'm a kid but close to there's adult. crayons too if you want to use the crayons it's up to you no thank you these paint markers are working out pretty well all right well i'm gonna just continue on my egg i guess i'm gonna make a striped egg i'm going full all out with my creativity skills i'm gonna leave a strip of pink just for the egg color Okay. And that'll be, because if we hang, nobody's going to notice if we're, because these are going to be hanging from, they'll be, they'll be looking at them from the road. So you kind of want to make them like bright so they can stand out and people can see them. So I'll just call, I'll just leave that pin. That's a good idea, Michelle. Once in a while those happen. Birthday's April 18th. Just say that. Before. You know what? I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have everybody register with Zoom and have an online Zoom birthday party. I, I think I'm gonna do that. What do you think? My other niece's birthday is in April too. And yeah, I think I might do that. Register everybody with Zoom, which I'll have to go over to the parents and do it because they might not be able to figure that out. But I'm gonna do that. A Zoom birthday party. Why not? Why not? Oh my gosh. Maybe everybody so could make their own cake at their own house. That would be good. So everybody could have my birthday cake, but it's their own cake. And I'll make my own cake and put 54, 54, I think I'm gonna be 54, yeah, candles in it. And I'll a lot of candles. I know, maybe I'll just get the number 5-4. No, I should just go buy 54 candles and blow them out. And then everybody can buy me a birthday present and just drop it off on my porch like before the video. Did everybody hear that? Buy me a birthday present, this is to my family, and bring it over and just leave it on my porch in the day of my birthday you party. You can just mail it to you. Which is April 18th. Then, then I can open the presents on my birthday on Zoom. I, I have a hat I can wear, a happy birthday hat. I do have that. We Everyone, have, don't forget to say happy birthday to Auntie in the comments. April, April 18th is my yeah. birthday. I could get a birthday shirt. That I found one. Here, let me show it to you. Just say happy birthday to me. I was going to order this, but I, I probably am not. I doubt that it'll get here before my, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, can you guys see this? My daughter found this on Facebook. She said I needed it. And my other niece's birthday is like right before mine. And last year, I think last year, or the year before, when she turned 12. We celebrated our birthdays together. Auntie threw her and me a party at the bowling alley and everybody got to come. We invited everybody to come to our birthday party. The family, we had a really good time, so. I don't and, know why, but I have no memory of that. Really? I don't have a video of that because it was before YouTube, before I started YouTube. So there's no video of that. But then after that, we started this like tradition that Auntie does, that when they turn 12, Auntie does the birthday parties. So we had another birthday party at the bowling alley for Alex. 
And for my other niece, we had a birthday party at um, a swim park. But she's going to be 18 soon here. When's your birthday? July 6th. Well, hopefully we'll freaking be out of quarantine by then. I'm sad. She graduates this year, so... I won't get to see my friends, and now I can't see them at all because of this stupid pandemic. Yeah. The only way she can see some of her friends is in her Zoom class, which they have. Which, her homework is ridiculous, okay? They're on like five different platforms. We have to go through her emails, and then we have Google Classroom. I have to download stuff on Notability to do the assignments. Okay, so she does that. And then... I have iTunes U for I, my math teacher. Mm-hmm. And what else do we do? Some of it's on Google Docs as well. My English teacher, Mrs. Wright, made her own website to download stuff off of there onto Google Docs. I have, you know what? I need to check that because I haven't even looked at that. I already told you we we're finished with that because the final exam was those videos. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> So this is ridiculous. They need to be on one platform, one platform only. The schools need to now realize that this has happened and every school pick a platform, pick one platform or two, maybe even two if you want to have all of your, your classes on because we're trying to keep up. And then yesterday in the Zoom meeting, they were telling the kids that, you know, some of your seniors haven't turned your work in and it's important for you to get your work in because you graduate. Well, you can't freaking find it. You have to, you can't find their work. I was the only kid that's yeah. been turning in my work. And she's the only kid that's been turning in her work because I'm finding it. I'm finding it so she can do it so she doesn't fail. Also, some of the parents from my kids in my class from the kids in the class don't even care right they're like they, they don't care and the teacher was Sorry telling to them all parent viewers out there yeah. but but seriously some of you guys don't even care so the teachers were telling them this is not a vacation you have to do your work you have to get it done okay well that's well good but you know you need to care about it first and you need to be able to find where the work is that's just my take, because this is just crazy. And don't get, you know, this is just crazy. This is what happens when I do art stuff. It takes me forever to do one thing. That's cool. She really is good at art. She really is. She, Auntie, my aunt even asked me to do an illustration thing for her YouTube channel, so. Yeah, I'll be looking for that in the summer. Yeah. She has to get all of her schoolwork first done, if we can find it, and graduate. Once she graduates, and then she could focus on this, because then, or my YouTube. Done. She's even thinking about starting her own YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm still kind of unsure about how I'm going to go for it. Maybe I can ask some of you, of my aunt's viewers, you guys, on what I should do for it. Because I'm planning on doing some gaming videos, and I don't know what kind of games I want to do. Besides, for sure, I know I'm going to be doing Minecraft, Gotcha Life, and Roblox. I know there are some other games out there that are popular at the moment, but some of them I don't really like because I know they can be addicting. Well, I think all games can be addicting. Yeah, true. Unless you just really think they're do they're stupid and dumb. Yeah. But I think all games can be addicting. You know what game was popular when I when I was a young kid? Well, which game? Pong. <laughs> you guys remember Pong and Atari and all of that? We had a Pong at my house. And it was like black and white on the screen and there was a it was like hey, table tennis or tennis where the ball would go back and forth and back and you have to hit it and then hit it. And it's like a di digital version of air hockey. Ki well, kind of. I don't know. Are we ready to end this video? You want to show them your egg? What no, you got I, so far? I, I just showed them what I got so far and I didn't even get that much. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> well, this video is going to be a forever long video, so we better end it here. What do you think? I'm sure. Okay, well, here. I'm going to steal one of her chips. No, I'll put it. Oh, no, I'm going to just take it because I touched it because who knows. All right, well, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Who knows what I'm going to film next, you know? You, you just never know these days. You just you just never know with this pandemic going on and you're stuck in the house going crazy. I wish all the seniors luck out there that are struggling like I am. Yeah, good luck to all the seniors. And, and I feel bad that you're not going to be with your class when you graduate at the right time. I hope your school does something for you. All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.